Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. What are you doing here? How did you find me? Well, let's say we are not soulmates. And soulmates always find each other. Amaka, what do you want? To be with you, of course. And I do not want to be with you. How is that so difficult for you to understand? <laughs> Obira, so after taking away my virginity, you don't want to be with me? That is not possible and you know it. Unless you want trouble from my parents. Better start thinking about getting married to me. Because for all we know, I could be pregnant. Get that into your head. Did you hear me? Get it into your head. What have I done? How, how did I get myself into all this? How? But it's over. I think it's about that time we forgot about that land and proceed to the next day. I am sure she's furious because of what happened yesterday. Let us give her some time. I know that everything is going to be fine, okay? You don't seem to understand me, Father. I said that I am completely out of this land issue. It's not working. Let's forget about uh, it. Are you, are you out of your mind or something? Do you know what exactly you're saying? You're out of what? Are you insane? Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you insane? How else do you want us to get that land? What haven't we done to get that land? She has bluntly refused to give it to us. And what do you want us to do? Let us forget about that land and move on. It didn't work. The plan to get her to trust us, it still didn't work. Can't we just forget about no, that land? Son, listen to me. There must be another way. Father, can you just get this done, Beth? It's not coming through. The land is not working. She's not giving it to us. She's made it clear. What do you want to do? Kill her? All right, let me shock you. She has said even at the point of death, she still would not give us that land. As long as there is a will, there is also a way. Leave that girl alone! Excuse me? Did you just talk to me in that manner? Are you out of your mind? Did you just talk to me like that? That did you? I'm, st I'm sorry, Father. I didn't mean to. Oh, I see. Uh, I see. Father, please. Please. This girl is blind. She's helpless. She's lonely. Can we just forget about that land? and procure any land of our choice, any location. Well, son, if uh, you weren't engaged already, I would swear with my life that you're gradually falling in love with this blind girl. Or are you? Because it's going to be hilarious. Yes. And what is hilarious about it? Son, don't tell me you're not finding this funny. Because I am. My son and a blind girl. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, if this happens, well, let me not say something here. Let me wait. You sound as if it's a bad thing. What? It is a terrible thing. A despicable thing. Something unimaginable. The prince of whom with a kingdom, my son and a blind girl. What do you want people to say? Are you trying to say that the next queen of Umwete is going to be a blind woman? 
Of course, that is what people would say. Anyway, why are we even discussing this? Because both of us know that it's never going to happen. Never! It will shock you that what you consider impossible is indeed possible. And what exactly do you mean by that? That that which you call impossible is possible. What did you just say? You Look, did I, did I hear you well? You heard me very well. Oh, I see. I see. Now read my lips, Father. I love that girl. I will stand by her and I will fight for her. Are you mad? No, are you out of your senses? How dare you? How dare you insult the legacy that I've suffered to build over the years with that sentence? How dare you? In fact, you must be out of your mind to even think that that will ever happen. Nonsense! I'm sorry, Father. I do not mean to upset you. I'm just telling you the truth. And what truth do you think you're telling me? I love them. Oh, shut up! Shut up and don't even say that again! What do you know about love? I sent you over to that girl to make her a means to an end, and you come back here talking about love? Now listen, if I ever hear that word from you again, say it again, and I'll crush you this minute. How dare you? What's going on? Why don't you ask this dog who is trying to make a mess of royalty? What? Nonsense! Now, what is that thing that you women do to make a man feel? What is that thing that you women try to do to make a man come back to his senses? Now, if there is anything you can do, I want you to do it with this young man because I am going to kill him. I will cut off your neck and throw it as a sacrifice into the abode of the, of the deadly masquerade. That is what I will do. What nonsense? I will kill you this minute! I will kill you! How dare you! Now listen to me, Ludibe. Listen to me and listen good. You have succeeded in making me lose my mind. So I am warning you. You better find a way to bring yourself back to your senses. Otherwise, you will know exactly what it means to live with a madman. You will know exactly what it means to live under the governance of a mad king. I will kill you! Nonsense! What is wrong with you, your majesty? Father! What is wrong? Beautiful, extremely beautiful for all of us. But I am sorry. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Why are you apologizing? Right now. So you're telling me you asked the prince out of your house and never to return? Hmm. I'm just, I'm choking on my joy right now. Like, I'm, just give me five, give me five, give me five, give me five. Okay. What is it? I don't, I don't understand at all. Am I, am I the only one happy about this situation? Why are you not? Ichi, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? I need to lie down. Ah. You need to lie down with. Ichi, is that. Are those tears in your eye? What, what is it? I, 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 say, I, need to, I need to lie down. I, I can't help myself. I need you to help me to my room. I need help. I can't leave myself. I don't know my way. Can you lead me to my room? I should lead you to you. 
Beautiful. Extremely beautiful for all this. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Why are you apologizing? I don't understand anything. I don't get it. Does he mean he has done something? Is Ilodibe cheating on me? Has he done something despicable? Oh no, no, no! on me oh, I did not cheat on you but then I never laid hands on you because our marriage is still not legalized so you don't have the right to ask me that stupid question you paid my bride price so I have every right to ask you I see if I knew this day would come all right. Breaking news. My father and your uncle, Eugene Zelu, paid your dowry, not me. So there's another woman. Tell me. Are you in love with her? You're crossing that line. <laughs> and who is the line? Is there another woman? Are you in love with her? Is there another woman? Are you in love with her? <laughs> oh, you're going to hit me. You're going to hit me. Is there another woman? Is there another woman? Is there another woman? Yes! There is another woman. get it in line. I don't understand her mood. She's just lying down on the bed crying. And that happened after our altercation with the prince. Well, I think it has something to do with it. Because she's just there. Like, I don't understand her mood at all. No, it's only you that came to mind when this happened. I feel like she needs help. She's going through emotional stress and she really needs help. You don't understand. 
understand what? You don't understand what you pass. Let you don't have that filthy hand on my son again. And you are dead. How dare you? Death is inevitable. I am ready to die. If you don't start now to undo what you did to her, I will make you regret every minute, every hour, every day. You've been the king of this kingdom. You are daring me? What has come over you? Why do you want me to soil my hands with your cursed blood? I want you but never to mess with Ijemra. I want you. Now I will show you that even a king can feel like an outcast in his own kingdom. I will bring out the night masquerades. Delight for both of you. Get out of my house. Get out! Get out! Don't forget that the DP Abu has mastered how to cure headache. You can die of a stomach ache. Both of you will understand that. When the masquerade comes, get out. He seems to have an edge over you. What is that supposed to mean? Be careful. Be careful. That man used all sort of strong languages. You never said anything. And now you are asking me to be careful? Your Majesty, what's wrong? Am I the only man you see here? I'm sorry. No, am I? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Nonsense. What's this about the blind girl? Her name is Ijemba. A decent maiden of whom we begin that. The earlier you learn and respect that, the better for both of us. Excuse me. You are finally awake. Yes. Uh, I was here before. Uh, and I discovered you were sleeping. Uh, if you knew you wanted to sleep. Uh, why then do you send Masi away? You should have allowed her to stay in the house. So that by the time you wake up, hmm, you won't be alone. Nay. You should understand that I'm no longer a child. Besides. Masi is not my bodyguard. I can't always make her wait on me every single time. Even the one I pay, I still give her time to go do other things. Uh, that is by the way. Can you please tell me what transpired between you and the prince? Transpired? Yes. Nothing. I only told him to go and never to return. Just like you wanted. Then why did you suddenly Ask him to go. Has he done anything wrong to you? He did nothing wrong. I just do not want to see him again. Ijemma. You look like you cried yourself to sleep. I am fine and nigh. There's, there's nothing wrong with me. That's a lie. That's a lie, Ijemma. Nai, just go. I'm fine. Nothing is wrong with me. Ijemma, why are you crying? Ijemma, 
your majesty. I'm still so confused, so shocked at this intelligence. Hmm. Oh, what, where, where did the German derive the best to walk the prince out of the house? She did not only walk him out of the house. She asked him never to come back again. Can you imagine that? And the fool came back here telling me he is in love with that same idiot of a blind girl. That is the most confusing part of it. What is the prince doing with the blind girl? What exactly is he doing with the Gemma, the blind girl? I, I don't know if you ask me. Hey! I don't know if the gods are trying to use this against me. But one thing is certain. I will not be alive and allow that to happen. Mother. Never. Yeah. And what is the good they doing about it? Does she know how insulting it is to her personality that her man is in love with the blind woman? Listen, um, ego D and whatever that is left of her ego is the least of my worries right now. I invited you here so we can solve this problem. You are the only man I know that has been crafty enough getting me out of a whole lot of troubles. Well, I'm flattered, Your Majesty. But right now, I can't think of any plausible suggestion to give you. Are you, are you telling me you're not crafty enough to give me some suggestions? Now that I need it most? Your Majesty, do not misunderstand me. What I'm saying is that, uh, uh, that the, the whole thing is so confusing to me right now. Exactly. But it's confusing to me too. Yes. Even the ancestors and everyone. What is it? Your attention, of course, my good friend. You have my attention. Go on. Well, since we are going to be all rude about it, I want to unofficially invite you to my marriage ceremony. Is it? You heard me. I am getting married. Though the invitation cards are not yet ready, but as I consider you my friend, so I'm inviting you unofficially. Amaka, congrats. Well, since you decided to while away your precious time with a woman like Ijebma and her treasures dreams, I decided to get myself busy with what other sensible women out there are doing, which is looking for a husband. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Amaka, to you, looking for a husband is a big deal, yeah? Well, Amaka, there are 10,000 women out there who don't want to do their abilities of a husband. And um, because you've decided a husband would be your new obsession, well done. Aren't you going to ask me who the groom is? We'll find out. Your wedding day? Your child? We'll find out. Okay, 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 fine. I will tell you. His name is Obiora. Hmm? Ah. Which Obiora? I believe you heard me. Yes. <laughs> Which Obiora are you talking about? Oh, why wouldn't these girls just leave me alone? What is the meaning of all this? Why are you punishing me? Answer me. What business of yours is it? Just Why are me. you so concerned? Answer me! Yes! Yes, Master Chuku, I am getting married. Are you satisfied? To who? What is wrong with this girl? Answer me now, to who? I am getting married to Amaka. What? You heard me. 
I am getting married to Amaka. Huh. I can't believe I've loved that man so extremely. And with all my heart all these years. I can't believe I practically forgot dignity and threw myself at him. Yet, he never for once took a single look at me. Indeed, it's true what they say. The worst thing that can ever happen to any human being on this earth is to love and not to be loved in return. I had such sincere love for him and I would have stayed with him. Oh, how I longed to build a life with him. Now he has simply licked my heart. I'm a beautiful woman. Yes, I'm beautiful. And if Obira has rejected my love, I am sure there is another man out there who will gladly have it. Because more than anything, I believe that for every individual on this earth that has love in his or her heart, there is someone special out there for him or her. And by God, I deserve whoever that is. By God, I am going to meet him soon. So I will never weep over Obiora again. Because he's now a thing of the past for me. The prince is in love with Ijema. But the question is, is Ijema also in love with him? I mean, does she love him back? If it turns out she does, is that not the end of my commission? That I left my door open doesn't give you the right to come into my house without knocking. What exactly have you come here to do? Ichi Enzelo, I know you're the one. What exactly have you come to do in my abode? You insolent girl. I'm a titled man in this kingdom and therefore I reserve the right to go whenever I choose. Wrong. You are wrong, Ichi Enzelo. You are a titled man, yes. You are free to go wherever you please. But you are not allowed to step your foot into someone else's land. You are also not allowed to step your foot into someone's house without knocking. You don't have that right. And mind you, that my father was a titled man before he died. 
And this is his house. Your father is dead. Dead, 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 and gone. Therefore, I can come into this compound, anywhere in this compound, and do whatever I like. And no one, not even you, in fact, you especially, cannot do anything about it. Yes, because you are a mere woman. A mere, weak, blind woman. I am beginning to see your venture into my house as harassment. And I'm going to call you out if this does not stop. Ichie, you are aware that the women of Umuitem also have rights. Listen, you can do your worst. In fact, go ahead and do your worst. Look, wage your war against me. Let me see. You're in my house today. What exactly do you want? Just one question. One question only. And what is it? Are you in love with the prince? I beg your pardon? Let me rephrase. The prince of Umi, the kingdom, has just confessed to his father that he is in love with you. What does that mean? The prince is in love with me? Are you also deaf? Or you can't understand the words that are coming out of my lips? You said the prince is in love with me. How? The prince? Ijema, why are you behaving like someone whose brain has gone on vacation? Look, the prince is in love with you. So he has confessed. Now the question begging for an answer is, are you also in love with the prince? That's all. Are you? Ijemma, I'm asking you, are you in love with the prince? Are you really in love with that blind girl? Or you just lost your head over some prolonged, lustful feelings that you cannot really handle? What exactly are you talking about? Father, I am not a child. I know love and I know its true feelings. And I will tell you, father and son, I love that girl. So sorry. At what point did you realize that you were in love with that blind girl? At what point did you think in this convoluted brain of yours that you have fallen in love with that blind girl? Tell me. The moment she turned down an open check, that moment, love eluded me. I, I didn't want to jump into a conclusion. I needed a little time to really be sure of what I was feeling. And then Father looked deep, and I see a queen in that woman. You fell in love with a blind girl the very first day you set your eyes on her. And as if that is not enough, you still have the temerity, the effrontery to qualify that same blind girl, a queen in Umute kingdom. Come on! Well, considering the fact that I do not know who she was before I traveled to London, it's been a few days I got back and I paid her a visit. I think I really love this girl, Father. Do you know what you are saying? Of course, Father, I know what I'm saying. I fell in love with E.J. Ma the very first day I said, oh, I said, oh. Do you really know the meaning of love? Do you? Of course, Father. Really? Yes. Remember, you told me you fell in love with Mother the very first day you said, oh, I said, oh. Does it mean that you were not certain or you do not know what you were saying us at that time? Elodie you insulted yourself when you told me you are in love with a blind woman. And as if that is not enough. You are now insulting me by comparing that same blind woman to your mother, my wife, the queen. Now let me tell you something. My wife, your mother, 
was not blind. Neither was she in any land dispute with my father. And I put it to you here and now. That you and that blind girl don't have a future together. Except I am not alive. It will not happen. You're not going to die, Father. You're going to live to witness that day. You will cherish it. You will bless it. You will love it. I assure you. You are going to make a terrible king. Very terrible one at that. But I am going to make a very lovely husband. That's all that matters. Hey God, you really are a failure as a woman. You're a failure. Excuse me. You heard me, right? Uncle, what have I done to deserve this insult from you? Oh, you've done everything. You did. Let, let, let me tell you something. Yeah, Fabon will bear me witness that I did everything within my powers to ensure that you moved into the palace as wife to the prince. But who do I get? This? Is this not what I get? You're sounding as if I've done something wrong. You know everything wrong. Everything you got did. Everything is just wrong. Let me tell you something. A woman who cannot keep her man to herself is nothing but an abomination to hum womanhood. Yes, womanhood will reject her. It is it my fault? Is it my fault that things are not working out between the prince and I? It's not my fault at all. Hey, you got it. No, it's my fault. It's my fault. Let me ask you, are you not the one that is sharing the same bed with him at night? No. Whose bright price did the king pay? Mine? No, is it mine? It's my fault. It is we interest you to know that the prince has not touched me since I moved into the house. What? It's again. You heard me. You mean he has made no attempt to open your your pot of gold? Eh? No, he has not tried it. No, Ichi. As far as the prince is concerned, he will not touch me until he takes me to the altar. What useless altar? No! What useless altar? Eh? Excuse me. Is this what going to London has done to this young man? Hey. But a good day. He has paid your price, price. And as far as I'm concerned, he is your husband. Huh? He's your husband. It's so it. do it. Yeah, he thinks otherwise. There is nothing I haven't done. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me. But a good day. Listen, this is all your fault. It's your fault! And I'm wondering how. Uncle, am I supposed to grab him and force him into me? If need be, grab him, force him into you. Yes! But you cannot do that. You can't! Yes! That is why the prince has chosen a blind woman. Why will he see over you? Y yes? You don't know? A blind woman. Hey, you not head. You don't know. <laughs> Your prince, you know the bear, has fallen in love with his Gemma, the blind girl. You know Gemma. Uncle, what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? What I mean is that your prince, you know the bear, has fallen in love with his Gemma, the blind girl. Yes. And you know what? She clearly loves him too. She loves him. Let me tell you something. I just paid her a visit. And when I asked her, Ijemma, are you in love with the prince? Guess what happened? She said nothing. 
absolutely nothing. Which means she is in love because if she were not in love with the prince, she would have denied it. Instead, she completely ignored me. She said nothing to me. Good. As my late brother's daughter, Iyafebon will continue to bear me witness that I have done everything within my power to give you a better life. But you disgrace me. Egode, you are a failure. A very big failure. You need to quit the alcohol and square up to me. What the hell are you doing to me? You must be a mad person for asking me that question. Yes. Yes, I am mad. Look at your fellow mad people there. Leave me alone. You are responsible for my madness. Are you in love with that wife? Ah. This is the part that gets me very angry. There is not by her name. It's your mom. Please. You bastard. Are you in love with the blind girl? Over me. Uh, that sees a contest now. She wins. <laughs> On that very day, I will be virgin. On that beautiful water with her. Make you a guest. A very prominent guest. Don't miss it. My dear, one thing you must never forget is that Umuiti can never crown a blind woman free. Where has it been ever heard that a kingdom crowns a blind queen? Allow him continue to fool himself. As far as I am concerned, you are the next queen of Umuite Kingdom. My king, I thank you for your kindness. You should have seen the way he was talking about her. The look in his eyes. The prince, like every other young man, is passing through a phase. I am very sure that what he actually feels for her is pity and not love. Just a matter of time. I know that it will come out of it. Just relax yourself, okay? Oh, your majesty. He told me he's going to love her forever. Imagine the embarrassment living and loving a blind woman for the rest of life. You know what, Igodi? I am the one that paid your bride price. So I am the one who is going to decide whether you leave the palace or not. And if you ask me, I will tell you that instead of crying, you should be finding ways on how you walk on your mind. Yes. And it's time he realized that you are the only woman in his life. And the only person that will do that is you. Do you understand?
Amaka, what do you want? Haven't I agreed to your plans? You said you wanted us to get married. I have agreed. Why won't you just let me be for one whole day? Obira, we are getting married. I know you have not accepted that. But you have to understand that couples who are heading towards matrimony are supposed to spend quality time together. And I do not want to spend time with you. Yes, I may have agreed to marry you, but that doesn't mean I'm a happy man. Amaka, getting married to you is a death sentence to me. A death sentence to you? Obira, do you think that I'm equally happy about everything? You took my virginity. You didn't even woe me. But here I am with no other choice than to marry you. Don't make me sad. Because if you think you are angry, you brought it upon yourself. Just look at the argument coming from the lips of a demon who drugged my food. You know what? Get out. Well, in case you have not gotten to realize it yet, this is my house. Our house. So you don't have any right to throw me out. To kill and bury you here is another option. Get out. Hope you are stop talking tough. If I were you, I would do everything possible to make this lady before you happy. Because she might wake up one morning and decide to tell her parents that you raped her and took her virginity. Be very, very careful. I warn you, be very, very careful. Do I look like an idiot to you? With you, I haven't come here to waste your time. I am serious. I see no seriousness here. I see a young man who has come to my house to insult my intelligence, my personality, my integrity, and my simplicity. The one man I love and respect in the whole of this kingdom. I cannot insult you. Why? So what makes you think I will begin the fact that you are in love with Ijemma? What I feel for Ijemma is genuine. The more you deny, the more I see the lie. I am not lying. Now listen, young man. You may be telling me the truth, but I am not impressed. Considering who your father is, whatever that comes from an egg of a snake must surely be a snake. I agree with you totally. But on a second thought, I am not my father. I love you, Gemma, and I will prove it. Fine. If you claim you love her, what are your intentions towards her? To marry her. To make her the love of my life. The queen of my heart. Those are my intentions. You want to marry a blind girl and crown her the next queen of Umute. Okay. Making her the next queen of Umuite is not my priority. Because I know this move will earn me this own from my father. But I'd rather lose everything. I'd rather lose the throne. But I am not prepared to lose the love of my life. The prince is in love with you. <laughs> wow. Um. 
I feel same way. I feel same way too. Don't you find this strange? I don't even know what to believe. And don't believe anything. Because me, don't trust anyone or anything from the royal family. Because I smell a very big rattle. Very big one. I think so too. EJ, what do you feel? Talking about the prince, how do you feel about him? Hey, who is coming? Someone is coming here. It's a good, a fiance to the prince. So this is she. The woman my man has chosen over me. The reason I will soon be humiliated in the entire Winter Kingdom. I can't believe it. Look at her. Blind and miserable. Look at me. Beautiful and perfect. Yet I don't even know where or how to find the key to Elodie's heart. But she does. Why is she not saying anything? It's none of your business. If she doesn't want to talk, then she's deaf. Say what? Mercy! Hey, 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 you don't get to do that. Excuse me? You heard me right. If you don't get to come into someone's house, stand there and look at her for a long time with so much hatred in your eyes. But I just did. What are you going to do? Beat me? Arrest me? You still think you have the world under your feet, don't you? After leaving Obira for the prince, you must have prided yourself in making the best decision any woman would ever make. Well, sorry to bust your bubbles. Obira is getting married. What did you say? God, you're so slow. Obira is getting married. Which? Which Obira are you talking about? The same one that, you know, I've gotten down with you on so many occasions. You may wonder to whom. Well, why don't you find out for yourself? <laughs> and let me warn you, the next time you come into this house and display your madness, I will lose you like a tree. Obira, you're getting married. Is that why you are here? Answer me. Hey, Godi. You have no business coming to my house, much less asking me that kind of question. Then I suppose you're truly getting married. So what? Why are you getting married to? Pardon? Obira, who are you getting married to? Like I said before, you have no business coming to my house. To me? Amaka, surprise, surprise. What? Um, Obi Love, can you please ask this woman to leave our house? You heard her. Obiora. She is the one I'm getting married to. I heard the prince has dumped you for a blind woman. <laughs> Life is tough, isn't it? You know what? Just leave here now before I show you another dark side of life. Amaka, I don't even think of further embarrassing yourself because you don't even have the right standing here in this compound. You lost that right long time ago. Now leave before I rip this ridiculous royal dressing of yours to pieces. Seriously, you are not even a queen yet. From the look of things, you can never be a queen. 
So why make public ridicule of yourself like this? You big son! Egodi, have you engaged a mad woman in a mortal combat before? I don't know from the look of things I'm guessing you have not. Now leave before I change my mind and give you that experience. Leave! Get out! Leave here now! Leave! Obiora is mine! He's mine! Only me will have him! Obiora, you are mine! Get in here! He's mine, Egozi! I'm begging you, Bikunu, or one your ma. Ejim Shineke na yogi. See, you know I'm actually an architect by profession. I, I, I'm a graduate. Eh? The only problem I have is that I have not gotten a good paying job. And I do not have the connections to travel and, and, and spend days searching for a good job too. Eh? Obi. Ego, Ego, please, don't do this. You know I'm a hard working man. And the money I've made from the construction jobs I've been doing in this village and other villages, I have managed to provide for you. Eh? Look at, look, look, look at this ring. I bought it with my money. My hard-earned money. I saved for it. Eh? Please don't do this. Don't reject this ring, Biko. I bought it for you. Please take it back. Oh. Obi, I really do not want to do this, but you are pushing my hands. Look at this jewelry. Look at them. The king gave them to me just because I simply accepted to marry the prince. Ego, these jewelries are gifts from the king, not even the prince. This ring that I'm holding is a lifetime gift for me, from a man that truly loves you, from a man that you love from your heart. Ego, you promised me that you will be with me forever. You promised me that you love me so much. Ego, please don't reject this ring. I'm begging you. Biko, no. Oh? Obiora, I may not be in love with the prince for now. I know you're not in love with him. Obiora, no. But this jewelry shows that I will have a good life with the prince. Obiora, just look at the kind of ring you gave a woman you claim you love. Obim, the love in my heart is more than gold. Please, I am begging you, let us groom this love like you've always done. Eh? Please, Bikonu, don't break my heart. Biko, I'm my lucky. Please, Obi, Bikonu. Obi, I am sorry. I cannot just wallow in poverty. Do you even know the kind of jewelries I'm holding? Obi, the only thing that I'm asking of you is time. You know I have saved so much over the years and very soon I will start a very good business and then I can give you the word. Please, all I'm asking for is time. Stop, Please. Obi, stop, Obi, stop, Obi, stop. Hey, I'm a little bit. I'll call, I'll call, I'll call, Obi, Obi, no, Obi, please. Obi, sometimes it's better to accept defeat. Why staring at it in the face? Please, keep the ring. I believe someday you will find a woman who will accept the ring. Obi, please. I wish you well, Obi. Mm. Obi, 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 don't do this. Obi, I don't want, I don't want Obi, another stop. woman. Because I'm begging Obi, please you. Obi, please stop. No, you will not die. Obi, 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 Obi,
Greetings, my prince. Greetings, sir. Uh, what a surprise. Yes, you can say that. I never dreamt I would be here. Please, have a seat. No, my prince. Um, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Is everything all right? It will be when you hear what I have to say. All right, I'm listening. News around town is that you claim to be in love with my friend. I do not claim to be in love with her. I am actually in love with your friend. I see. Nothing. Nothing but the truth. So you would do anything to protect her then? I'll give my life if it calls for it. Then warn your fiancé. Keep her in check. A goodie. A goodie was in my friend's house. And it was not a friendly visit. My friends. This girl has got some nerves. My friends. I'm here out of courtesy and respect for you. But the next time the very next time I see a goldie in my friend's house, I will report her to the women of Umite. And I'm sure you know what that means. My friends. Yes, I do. Wait. How is she? You insist you're in love with her. Find out for yourself. You already know I'm angry. So for your own good, just give me a direct answer. I'll ask you again. Did you go to Ijema's house? Yes. Yes, I did. What are you going to do? Would you beat me up for that? It's not even a joke. I will kill you! What did you have in mind? What did you have in mind? Why did you go to house? Nothing, nothing. I, I swear I was going to go to what I swear, I swear, I swear. swear. No, shut up. Listen and listen real good. Yeah. Let this be the last time you ever step foot into our compound. You hear me? Yes, 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 yes. You hear me? Yes, yes. Do you understand? <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe this. The prince actually appears to be genuinely in love with Ijima. Hmm. How a whole prince suddenly fell in love with a helpless blind girl is what I would never be able to understand. That look on his face says it all. He's so contented. I can't believe that this girl is now practically living in my house. And I'm fetching firewood. Firewood. So that she can cook with it. Cook for who? For me? No. I'd rather die than have a taste of that food. Never. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I just saw you. I thought you needed help. What are we waiting for? Go away! Leave me alone! Go away! Can you just leave me alone? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I want to say you! Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'm
Egode. Egode. I can't help you. Hmm? You see, I don't know where to procure the type of love potion that will make a man who is already truly in love with another woman to work for you. Hey. In fact, even if I want to, I don't even know where I can procure that kind of love potion. I don't even know where, whether it still exists. Then, Uncle, you must have another idea. What do I do? Idea? Yes. Egodi, this is pathetic. Even a hungry beggar does not look as, as, as desperate as you are now. In fact, Egodi, you have failed. Accept your defeat and leave me alone. I have more important matters to discuss with the king. Oh, no, what? you don't. Your Majesty. Egodi's current problem. It's more important than any other matter you think that you have to discuss with me. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I have the solution to this madness. Really? Yes. Just come. Just come. Jim, please let me in. No. No. Why? Why? Yes, why? I do not trust you. Really? Jim, all of a sudden, you don't trust me. You've been listening to them. Your wildest dream, you you think I, Prince Ilodibe, will harm you. Listen, my prince. I I I understand. You may be blind. But I'm sure that God blessed you with the most important sense. The sixth sense, which is the ability to know the capabilities of the people around you, the people before you. I have been standing here for a while now. If I am capable of bringing any harm close to you, if you had sensed danger around you, you will be screaming at the top of your lungs by now. I still do not want you here. I do not want you to come inside my house. Major. I fell in love with you from the moment I set my eyes on you. I'll never harm you. All I want to do is love you. I love you. I'll always love you. I cannot stop loving you. So I don't care what you think, how you do it, I will never stop loving you. You're speechless. It's all right. If that makes you happy. I'll leave. if you've never nurtured any form of feelings for me, then you will stay here. Listen, while I walk away, 
I promise you one thing. I'll walk away. And I will never come back. Wait. Please do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. Despite what I feel, I don't think it's wise for me to let you come close to me. You are sure about this? I initially doubted this, but after meeting with the prince today, I can attest to the fact that he has lost his head over in Jinma. And that is strange. Exactly right. Uh, what about Ijemma? What are our true feelings for the prince? Hmm. That is one question I don't have an answer to. Uh, Ijemma is your best friend, is she not? She is nine. How, how do you tell me that you don't know her feelings towards the prince? Hmm. Nah, that means you don't know Ijemma. Ijemma is very mysterious. You won't even know what she's thinking or what she wants to do. Ijemma. Hmm. You don't even, you don't know if, if she's in love with the prince or if she hates the prince. Ah, she'll just be looking. You know that case, I wish that I don't know, I cannot describe her. Do you think I'm a fool? Do you think that I'm going to leave you in peace simply because you have agreed to marry me? Hell no! You lie! Go and collect that bra price list. Did you hear me? Go and collect it because I'm not going to leave you in your house for free. Then go! I might can go back home. Nobody's holding you back. <laughs> go! My friend, you lie. You lie. You must collect that bride price list. And you must pay my bride price whether you like it or not. Did you hear me? Whether you like it or not. Then you will have to wait for me to go and steal because I do not have any money. You are the one who chose to be in my house. You either take things the way they are or you go back to your parents' house. Obia. As for the bride price, I will get to it when I get to it. Obia, I might be pregnant, so. I might be pregnant, so. Beautiful. Hmm. Clap for yourself, fine. Then you better forget about the bride price and start serving for the baby. What? Yes, you heard me. That is the best I can offer. The very best I can offer. I'm here. I'm here. Come back here. I'm here. You can't tell that bride price is off. Whether you like it or not, you must marry me in this house. And will I'm? And will I be cheque? I'm going to put a gun on her. I'm going to be And will I'm? She will I'm? Well, you may spill it. I don't have all day. Well, Your Majesty, it's just that... Can you please go straight to the point? Or you will get on my nerves. I thought about what you asked me to do. I'm sorry, I... And what? And what? Majesty, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I see. Yes, Your Majesty. You know what? I, I, I find it very difficult to believe that timid women like you still exist in the society today. I beg your pardon. Oh, yes. That is because of the normal scheme of things. Women will go crazy. Some will even kill for this. But you're here standing standing and talking to me that you cannot perform a simple task like this. Honestly, if I had known that you were this feeble and uh, useless, I wouldn't have paid your bride price. I wouldn't. Oh, yes. You have just one month. One month to perform the thing that I ask you to do otherwise. You're out of this palace. Your Majesty, resolve. What do you mean by resolve? For you to ask me this kind of question, you are even more stupid than I thought you are. Am I not a lucky man? Why do you say so, my prince? <sighs> what else will I call myself? I mean, 
Look at me, I'm supposed to leave, but you brought me in and I'm seated close to you and you know we're talking, so if I do not relate that to care, sense of love and affection, then what will I possibly call it? My prince. Accept it. When are you going to summon courage to tell me if you love me or not? What are you doing? I'm testing the waters. Mm. All right. Stop. Welcome, darling. Welcome. Sit down. I've been waiting for you. Sit, sit, sit. Stop staring at me like that. Mm. I was waiting for you to come back. Okay. I'm here now. I wanted to apologize. Apologize? Mm -hmm. Apologize for what? Listen, I know your father married me, brought me into the house, paid my bride price without your consent. I have put myself in your shoes and I just wanted to apologize. I'm sorry. You're sorry? So a goodie. I didn't see this this talent in you. Never knew you such a great act. So you think this, this, and this will automatically make me fall in love with you. Come on. No. You are wrong. I'm not doing all this to make you fall in love with me. As a matter of fact, I'm leaving the palace tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You see, I know marriage did not work out between the both of us, but I would love us to remain friends. If you don't mind. will be friends. After all, you you were supposed to be my wife, so why not? Friends. So I can always count on you as the prince. Anytime. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so how is Ijima? I hope she's good. Yes, she's, she's good. That's nice. I made something for you. You will like it. You will like it. 
Okay. 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 This isn't right. This thing I have with the prince isn't right at all. Common sense says I shouldn't let him come close. Common sense says I shouldn't trust him. And even if I want to consider a future with him, I am nothing but a blind girl. I am supposed to believe the fact that he is in love with me. Yet, somehow, I do. I am happy whenever he's around me. And is it okay if I'm equally in love with him? Dear God, what have I gotten myself into? What do you want? I just asked the question. What do you want? Okay, fine. I want you to come inside and hold me. Excuse me? You hurt me. You are a man and I'm a woman. And soon we'll be married. So what is so strange in what I've just asked? That will be over my dead body. Excuse me? Amaka, you said you wanted to live in my house. I have given that to you. You said you wanted me to marry you. I've agreed. But that is all you will ever get, my dear. Because my body is off limits to you and will always be. Obira. Obira, we are getting married. I took my virginity. And now... You are just going to leave me like that? Check it now. It's not fair. This is not fair. You're not treating me well at all. Amaka, you drugged me and we had sex. It was never my intentions or desires to touch you or take anything from you. So you better keep that memory from that day in your heart. Hold it and conserve it because that is all you will ever get for the rest of your life. Baby. I know I may have dropped you, but I didn't tie a rope on your neck and force myself on you. You did it and you enjoyed everything. Please come inside and hold me, please. Please, my love. Oh, okay, okay, fine. What do you want? Please come inside. You want me to hold you inside? Yes. I've heard. Just go, I'm coming. Really? Yes. Thank you. I knew you have always liked me. And I also knew that I'm not wrong to be with you. Why are you preaching now? I just told you to go inside and wait for me, that I am coming. Why are you preaching now? The one who... It's okay. Go, I'm coming. I love you. I'm waiting. You got the one now. Baby, I'm waiting.
It worked. Oh my goodness, it worked. The king was right, it worked. Okay, um, this is going to be a little stressful, but I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Nice try. Nice try. I was going to forgive you. Something you said kept ringing in my head. You see, I know marriage did not work out between the both of us, but I would love us to remain friends. If you don't mind. I might not know much about women. But I know that they don't give up their men easily. Not when love is involved. She just proved that you never loved me. No, I don't No, you don't love me. Sorry. You know nothing about love. It might interest you that I know about you, ex. Obira. You jilted him. Then you came after me because of what? I'm sure he must have been the one behind all the strange calls. My friends, I'm so... My friends, please, I'm sorry. I tripped up. Once again. Good job. Please, please, please. I'm sorry. I love you, my friends. I'm sorry. I truly love you. It will not happen. She will not go anywhere. Do you hear me, son? A god that goes nowhere! Really? I'm getting ready to buy her. Because if there's any husband for her in this house, it's not me. You lie, son. You lie, son! A god is your wife. A bright price was paid on her head for you. So that is how it will remain. Do you understand? And poisoning my food. That was your idea. I'm ashamed of you. I am extraordinary. You talk to me like that. Have you forgotten that I am your father? Have you? Which is quite unfortunate. Unfortunate for me. Unfortunate for you. Unfortunate for this witch. I will never marry her. Over my dead body. Over my dead body will that happen? Son, will you come back here? What nonsense! And you. I'm ashamed of you. You cannot perform a simple task as to getting a man to sleep with you. What kind of a woman are you? Oh, sorry for yourself. Don't even talk to me. Useless, stupid fool. Even blind Idemba seems to have more wits than you. Disappointed. Son, I am not done with you yet. You. You. My friends, who's your Who's who was greeted? So you're responsible for this marriage deal, right? What marriage? What more marriage? What marriage? You are responsible for all the rash decisions my father's taking as king. You! Every negative thing that has transpired in this palace, you! 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 I don't understand. You don't understand? 
You don't understand. You don't, you, you don't understand. I'm talking about Igudi. I am talking about your niece that you brought into this household. Take her back. You hear me? Take her back. Take her back. Take her back? Yes! Take her back. Take her out of this palace. She's your niece. And you brought her into this palace. You paid her dowry with your money so you don't even have to return anything to me. Go in there. Take your niece out of this palace. And you stay out of this palace. You hear me? God. Simple assignment. Simple task. And you failed. Then as a woman, you failed to get a man to sleep with you. How? Yeah, fair bomb. Yeah, fair bomb. He formed an opinion even before meeting me. It goes beyond getting him to do anything with me. No, they go. I finally give up on you. Give up. Oh God, please stop insulting me. Stop humiliating me. Insulting you? Humiliating you? Hey, wait until you find yourself out of this palace. No, wait until you find yourself among the maidens of Omite once again. Then you will know the very definition of insult. Then you will know exactly what it is to be humiliated. Uncle, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't. You sound as if you've been doing something. No, since you came here, and all the while you've been here, have you been able to do anything for yourself? Because if you had, you would have been nine months pregnant by now. Instead, here you are. The very definition of uselessness. Uncle, I cannot take this insult anymore. I just can't. I can't take it. <laughs> no, wait until the king falls out of the palace. Just be glad he has not done that already. Be glad. This girl's stupid nature is messing up my plans. I can't believe she is this slow in action. And if the prince ends up with this gemma, then everything is ruined for me. Everything I've been working for over the years. Your Majesty. We cannot continue to let this happen. This union between the prince and the blind girl must be brought to an end. Yes, the very end. What do you suggest that I do? At this rate, I am totally out of options. Your Majesty, you are the king. Just banish her. Send her away. Banish an innocent poor blind girl from this kingdom? On what grounds? Hmm. You can say she tried to seduce the prince. Yes. And what would you have me say when the prince denies? Prince denies it. Well, that's a small thing. You tell them the prince is under the influence of a very potent love charm. That is why he's playing that way. And when that is proven otherwise? Your Majesty, you realize that if the prince marries Ijemi, that will be the end of your quest. I mean, your agenda for that land. Comes an end. I know that. In fact, nobody knows that more than I do. Which is why I am asking you if you still have other viable suggestions to make. Your Majesty, I have suggested that we banish her and you refuse. Okay. Why don't you just find a way to kill her? Yes!
kill her and put an end to all this madness. Yes. Chinzel, do you realize the enormity of what you are saying? Kill her! Your Majesty, I'm only trying to help you. I'm just saying. I'm only trying to help. I mean, it's not as if this thing is, uh, is, more, is, is so important to me. I'm only trying to help you because of what you stand to be in there. Probably it's just my little commission that... Uh, but I want to help you. I was wondering how long it will take you to finally come and see Oh boy, if I just couldn't summon the courage. <laughs> Did you commit murder? Oh, no, not at all. Uh, I heard your story about that woman. Is it true? Or are you planning to marry her? To tell you the truth, I wish I never met that girl in my entire life. Wasn't she your girlfriend? No. Oh. That girl was a pain in my neck, always following me around. Oh. You didn't sleep with her? Um, with it, I, I, I just can't explain. You can't explain whether you slept with her or you just don't know why you slept with her. Which of them? She said I did. Huh? She said? Yes, she said. I see. Uh, Obwefi, mm -hmm. I'm in trouble and confused. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Prince, what seems to be the problem? You haven't said a word to me since you got here. You have been moody. What is the problem? Is there an issue? How did you become blind? My Prince. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I do not mean to pry into your past life, but I'm desperate. I need to know how you became blind. I want to know. It, it happened mysteriously. I was stung by bees. Bees? Yes. Bees from the shrine of Ogbangwada. That deadly masquerade? Yes. Every of the seer my father and I visited said same thing. When did this happen? During my first year in the university. My goodness. This happened immediately you started school? Yes. 
My father tried everything he could. He did everything for me to see again. But it never happened. He tried both English and traditional medicine. Even the men behind the masquerade of Ogbangbada were even confused. Because they couldn't understand why someone could go blind from the sting of bees. So they came to the conclusion that Ogbangbada had become demonic. So they had to get rid of it. It was squashed. Yet you're blind. The Yogbangbada masquerade was destroyed years ago. Why bring up the whole issue now? Do you seriously think that we did not do all we could to restore back Ijema's site again? We try all our best. I just think your best wasn't good enough. I beg your pardon. I don't believe that a person who wasn't born blind all of a sudden mysteriously became blind one morning and then there is no solution to regain that sight. I strongly do not believe that. Why are you saying this? Why did you suddenly decide to work sleeping dogs? I love you, Gemma. She's the one I am going to marry. So you've given her back. Her sight is the last thing I do. Then I consider it a token of my love for her. As long as I live, she would regain her sight. I'll make sure of that. Anu Muite. The prince claimed to have fallen in love with a helpless blind girl. That young woman is like a daughter to me. But I find it difficult to believe that what the prince is saying is the truth. And even if it is the truth, is Umuite kingdom going to end up with a blind queen? I find the possibility difficult to believe. So I ask for a sign. Give me a sign. If the prince truly loves this woman and they are meant to be together, show me a sign so I can support them. That is all I ask for. Ma. Mm -hmm. 
It's a lot better. Thanks. You made dinner for me. Why are you sounding like I killed someone for you? And it's then you clean the house. Your parents and mine were like family before they died. Your family. Yeah. Hi. What's your crazy bazo? Okay, so I have to go now. It's late. Right. Thank you so much. To go and see again. When you're done, you can keep the place if you can take it. And when I come in tomorrow, I'll take it. Okay. Right. Be careful, oh. I will. Thank Dalo. you. Hi. How did she know I was very hungry? I miss her. I miss her. Oh my God. Baby, you miss me? I know you definitely come around. Um, I mean, tell me the truth. On that very day that you drugged me, did we have sex? Yes, we did. And it was so memorable. I love me. Why are you asking? Um, I was just thinking out loud. Mm. Mm -hmm. Come here. Mm. Oh. Mm. Um, I want us to go somewhere. Where? Yeah. Just come. Mm. Oh, be my love. A woman that's like. How will she know what to do or how to touch you to satisfy you? Eh? No. A blind woman. How will she know how or what to cook for you? A woman who can't see. How can she take care of your children when she gives birth? A blind woman surely will never know but there, but there's no way she can know the difference between you and another man if a stranger decides to come to her at night. Enough! That's enough. Jerry. What is enough? Allow him to tell you the truth. He is telling you the truth. Thank you, my king. Now, let me ask you a question, Elodie. Now that you claim to be seriously in love with that blind woman, what happens to the land in question? What happens to it? Simple. Forget about that land. Yeah. You're being a shoot. Completely forget about that land. Is that what you are saying? You heard me very well, Father. Completely forget about that land. It appears there is nothing more to say. I'll leave you to that. Yeah. I see. I told you, didn't I? I told you to happen this way. But you don't listen to me. I know what to do. I am going to ask you this question but once. Uh, take her to the central deity. Wifi, that is going to the stream. Can you think of a better option? Eh? I said take her there so that your problem will be solved. Eh? I said this because no one dares lie before the Anyomwete. The very day you drugged me, did we have sex? Answer me, yes, I swear by this date. No. I will. No, 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 no. No to what? 
he did not have sex. Only overdosed the, the food with the drugs, so he passed out. I see. Okay. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Where you go from here is none of my business as long as it's not my house. You will find your belongings close to the road path waiting for you. If you dare come close to my house, I swear by Anumuite, I will kill you and face the consequences. Oh, oh Biara! Oh, Biara, sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Oh. No more No more Ah, what's the problem? This is going to end. This whole thing will end today. This ridiculous story between my son and that blind girl is going to end today. Oh but, yes. But where are you going? I have had enough of this madness. I have been pushed to the wall and I'm using my staff of authority to order that girl to stay far away from my son and never to come close to him for the rest of her miserable life. That is what I'm going to do. Your Majesty, this is too extreme. Hey, the staff of office of the king represents so many things in this kingdom. It is the authority. The authority that tempts evil in the land. My king, why would you bring it up because of a woman? My mind is made up hey. and there is no going back. If you are still with me, come with me. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, Your, Your, Your... You are so beautiful. Thank you, my queen. This madness must stop today. In fact, it stops now. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Are you asking me questions? Oh. Is that the king? Yes. Oh, greetings, my king. Oh, save your greetings, you wicked soul. Father, and by the staff of the kings, I command you to what you do. <laughs> what are you doing? What have you done? What have you done? Ah! Let go! Are you all right? Ah! What have you done? nothing to do with us. Keep talking. That, that man of Amowe who prepared the concoction with which I prepared, I made be, told me that she will go blind permanently, but the blindness will lead to her destiny. Now I'm beginning to understand what he meant. Hi! Your Majesty, please forgive me. This land. 
forgive me. My prince, where are you? Please forgive me. You have been away from me all these years. How come I didn't see this coming? So you are evil. Inzali, you are evil. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Use the star for me so I can see. I can't be blind like this. Hey! You, you, you don't need to beg for it. You certainly need your sight to face the horror that is ahead of you. Your Majesty, have you used it? Use it. Use it so I can see. Let me see. I want to see my sight. Please. Your Majesty, you can't leave me here. Now. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody, somebody. My prince. My prince. Gods of my ancestors, will you ever forgive me? How come I never saw this coming? How could I be so close to such an evil man and I didn't notice? Your Majesty, we cannot continue to let this happen. This union between the prince and the blind girl must be brought to an end. Yes, the very end. What do you suggest that I do? At this rate, I am totally out of options. Your Majesty, you are the king. Just banish her. Send her away. Banish an innocent poor blind girl from this kingdom? On what grounds? You can say she tried to seduce the prince. Yes. And what would you have me say when the prince denies? Prince denies it. That's a small thing. You tell them the prince is under the influence of a very potent love charm. That is why he's playing that way. And when that is proven otherwise? Your Majesty, you realize that if the prince marries a gem, that will be the end of your quest. I mean, your agenda for that land. It's concerning. I know that. In fact, nobody knows that more than I do. Which is why I am asking you if you still have other viable suggestions to make. Your Majesty, I have suggested that we banish her and you refuse. Okay. Now, why don't we just find a way to kill her? Yes! Kill her and put an end to all this madness. Yes. It seems a lot. Do you realize the enormity of what you are saying? Kill her! Your Majesty, I'm only trying to help you. I'm just saying. I'm only trying to help. I mean, it's not as if this thing is, uh, is, more, is, is so important to me. I'm only trying to help you because of what you stand to gain there after all. It's just my little commission that. Uh, but I want to help you. He was even physically prepared to murder the poor girl. Why didn't I see this coming? Oh my God. My king, you sent for me. I go, dear. I'm sorry to say this. I made a grave mistake. My things are packed. Excuse me? Your Majesty, from the look on your face, I already know what you're going to tell me. And in truth, I agree with you. I also made a grave mistake. So while you were out, I packed. I was only waiting to bid you goodbye. Be good. Your Majesty, you may have offered me the idea of marrying the Prince. But you never forced me. I brought this upon myself. So like every other responsible individual out there, I've decided to take responsibility for my actions. I, I 
want to ask you for a favor. Please tell the prince I am really sorry and I wish him all the best with Ijemma. Egodi. Thank you. I also wish you the best in life. Thank you, my dear. They came to be an only child in this family. It's a big firewood that they sent me to come fetch. Can I help you? What are you doing? Um. Mercy. Mercy, forgive me. I haven't been so kind to you, yet all you have done is love me. All these years you have loved me sincerely. So I'm here now. I know it would be crazy if I tell you right away that I love you. So I will just ask you to be my friend. My confidant. My companion. My friend. My helper. Okay. Um, if you reject me, I will continue to ask you because I have come to realize that you belong to me. I don't know what to say right now. Then you probably do not need to say anything. Let us build together. Let us start from the scratch. What about Maka? History. What? She lied about the whole thing. I never slept with her. She was trying to force me into marriage. But everything is in the open now. We're not getting married. Are you serious with me right now? Ma, we stay in the same kingdom. You can find out the truth yourself. Um, can I help you? Can I walk you home? All the atrocities you committed against the innocent here. You are not just up against the central deity of women. You are up against the staff of the kings, and there is nothing I can do about it. Please help me. Huh? Help me. You are my you are my last hope. Please. Obey. If I were to be your last hope, you would have been dead by now. But I was never. Your sole aim was to make her blind, kill her parents, and take over the land. Is it not? Obef. Obef. Please. You do not understand. I thought her blindness would make her forget everything about herself. But she ended up becoming the queen of this land. Hey! Now you know where your forgiveness will come from. From the one you offended. It has nothing to do with me. 
this. You are close to the king. The staff of the king restored her sight. Please help me. Kindly beg the king because he respects you a lot. He respects you. You are very close to him. Beg him to lift up the staff for me, please. I need my I can't be blind. Eh? I need my sight again. I need my sight. Please. Help him to lift the staff for me. Let me see again. Please. I need my sight. Well, he did already. And the real owners of the staff failed to give you back your sight. You made her blind for good eight years. You just got blind barely an hour ago. And you are here crying. The gods are not as weak as you evil men always assume. Yeah? You know you are my friend. You brought him here. Take him away. Omer! You... Take him away! Omer! You must swim in the ocean of blindness Omer. for the next eight years! Omer! Omer! And more here, near near. You will continue to experience a life of bliss. Bliss. Uh, and your days on eight will be very long. Bliss. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you for allowing me marry the love of my life. I never saw this coming, but it still remains the climax of my joy. Thank you. You're welcome. Meeting you was a blessing. Loving me is a food to my soul. Accepting to be my wife is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you today. I love you tomorrow. I love you forever. <laughs> I love you, my queen. I love you too, my lord. And I will love you forever. <laughs> Son, is that? I have decided to make her a co signatory to the family account. What? Oh, yes. Thank you so much, my king. You don't have to be surprised. You're not part of the family. You should enjoy all the rights and privileges of the real world. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Really nice. Father, as the custodian of the Asian staff of Umuite Kingdom, please can you give your word? Just say kiss the bride. <laughs> Why not? You may kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 